Woo! Are you working? Hello. Hello. Are you working? Hello. 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 <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. Welcome to a new makeup review. I haven't done one of these in so long and I really miss doing them. I've been doing a lot of vlogs and those have been going really well, but I do miss my beauty videos that I was previously doing and what actually I started my channel with doing. So um, if my face is completely new to your screen, go and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. I would really appreciate that. And today we are going to be doing a full face. Well, it's kind of a full face, but it's basically just a review on the new Catrice Clean ID products. I've got the highlighters, the bronzer, I have, there aren't actually many products in this range, but I did get what I could get and what I could find. Other than that, like there's a few things I don't have. We have the Clean ID lip balm, the Clean ID Hydro BB cream, and I think this is the last. All right, then we've got the Volume ID, the Volume ID, the Clean ID Volume and Lengthening Mascara, and then we also have an eyeliner pencil. So, some of the products that obviously aren't in this range, I'm just going to use from Catrice, but not obviously in the Clean ID range. So, it still will be all Catrice, it's just not going to be in the exact range. So, without any further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. To be fair, this is actually my second time filming this video. I don't know why, these beauty videos lately have been getting me so, <laughs> so in the feels that I just have to re-record them the whole time. But basically, what happened was, is I was recording a vlog, a weekly vlog, and then I was on my vlogging camera but I put the SD card that I usually use in this camera in that camera and then I was just like oh, okay let me just format the disc to be formatted with this camera because I didn't realize it was the wrong SD card so I cleared the whole memory card without realizing that it was the one that I recorded this video on so anyways we'll do it again we'll just do it again because now I actually have a better opinion on everything that I tried because I did wear it throughout the day and see how it wore and I'll let you guys know how I felt about it at the end of this video so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some concealer and I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes and just conceal the places on my face that need concealer and this is also Catrice concealer. This is the Instant Awake concealer and I'm just going to conceal because this is a BB cream that we're going to be using so it is not the most full coverage situation. I really like this concealer. I just want to get a darker shade because I feel like this is way too light for me. Like it's ridiculously light so... I want to go get a new shade of this concealer. I know it seems like I'm going crazy, but it's a BB cream, so it's got like zero coverage. Well, it's got, it's, it's not zero coverage, it's just a little bit of coverage. So I'm just gonna quickly blend this out. I'm going in with a Catrice Hydro BB Cream. It's 99% natural ingredients, vegan and non-comedogenic. I think I said that right. My English is so bad. I really need to start reading again because my English is getting like really bad. Anyways, I'm just gonna put this all over the face. I'm not sure if I should use a sponge. Okay, I've put enough on for a sponge. So I'm gonna use a sponge because I've just, I've been so used to using a sponge and you know, you always have to apply a lot less with the beauty when you're using a brush. So I'm just gonna apply this. And this is a very like hydrating formula and I got the shade, I think I got medium. Yeah, I got medium because the light one looked way too light. So that's why I got the medium one. And when I did try this out the last time, the only thing I didn't like is this BB cream started to separate and it wasn't even long before it started separating. So that's the only reason like I wouldn't really recommend it. But I feel like if you had like a really perfect skin and you're just looking for like that tint, then I think this is a good option for you. It's not the most sheer BB cream I've ever used, if I have to be honest. Like this is actually a very, like a very full coverage one, if I must be honest. Like it's actually got some coverage in it. So this is one of the nicer ones that I have used. I just felt that throughout the day, it started separating a bit like, around my face so I'm just gonna blend this all in and then we will see if it starts separating by the end of this video because it actually started separating very quickly the last time I put it on like by the end of the video after the bronzer going over my face and stuff it was like already completely separated so we'll see if it's the same this time but then at the same time I'm not really like a BB cream kind of person so yeah, I don't know. If you are, I suppose this is a nice one, but it's already separating. It's so patchy. 
I'm gonna actually zoom you guys in because I'm actually like looking into the mirror too much that you can't really see. But it starts separating and going patchy before you even rub anything else on it. So I'm not sure if maybe it's the beauty blender, but usually a beauty blender is like the best option because it gives you the best of both worlds with any foundation. So I don't know, but it's already separating. So if you look on my cheek over here, there's like a red patch over there because obviously from blending it too much, it starts to go patchy and separate. And you can see over here, it's also separating. It hasn't even been like two minutes and I'm not sure if you can see, there's like a huge patch over here from this BB creams. I don't know, I personally wouldn't waste some money on this. Like I am someone that would much rather just wear a full coverage foundation look instead of going for this whole BB cream thing where it just shows everything through and it kind of makes you feel like you're not wearing makeup and then what you end up doing halfway through the day is just spreading it all over your clothing. So I don't know, just in my opinion I wouldn't even bother with the BB cream in general so I just don't recommend BB creams to anyone but I don't know it's honestly up to you it's up to you on whether you like BB creams but I have found with all BB creams they separate there's they just don't because they're like trying to be a cream but they tinted so creams don't usually like dry down or you know they kind of will separate as they go on throughout the day so no I don't know I don't really recommend this I mean it looks nice it's glowy like from far, I don't know, I don't even like it. It doesn't even look nice from far <laughs> because I can see all the patches on my forehead. And I thought when I first used this BB cream that it was actually the bronzer that was separating and it wasn't a nice bronzer. And then I tried the bronzer with a proper foundation and it honestly turned out so much better. So yeah, this is the BB cream. Not a huge fan of it. I'm gonna tell you straight off, straight off the bat, I wouldn't recommend buying it. I don't recommend a BB cream in general. It's your decision though with what you choose to buy. But I'm just going to quickly go and set this because I'm thinking it's probably the best option to set it. I'm just going to go in with this Catrice Glow Illusion. This is the transparent matte one. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. Just tap this all over my face. It honestly starts separating even more as soon as powder touches it. Like then it gets worse. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Look there. Can you see like the... I, <laughs> I look ridiculous because I've got like all these patches all over my face. Like there's patchiness in my brows. There's patchiness everywhere. So now we're going to go in with this Catrice Clean ID. Mineral bronzer with SPF. It's got 84% natural ingredients and it's vegan and it's got SPF 15. So <laughs> this is the packaging. It's very beautiful. And this is what the bronzer looks like. Like so. It's such a nice bronzer. I've got this in the 010 light to medium. And I'm going to go look how pigmented it is. I tapped into it once and that's how much it gave me. So I'm just going to tap this off. Then I'm just going to apply this in the bronzer points of my face. In the contour points and the bronzer points. Same kind of thing. And let me zoom you out a bit because now you can't see my forehead. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to apply this all over the face. This is such a beautiful bronzer and this BB cream just kind of ruins it. <laughs> I suppose if you got like really perfect skin, you could just put this BB cream on because I think the only reason it doesn't really like work with my skin is because I do have like quite a few spots still like even though I am trying to fix my skin at the moment I still have breakouts I mean I'm 20 years old like I can't expect my skin to not break out like it's ridiculous it's normal it's completely normal to be breaking out at a young age because your hormones are still all over the place even though if you are on hormone like regulators and pills and stuff your hormones still act up all the time so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this on my eyelids as well as my eyeshadow because it's just so beautiful it's honestly such a beautiful bronzer like I would say close on top five in the drugstore at the moment like it's real real good Okay, and then for my brows, I'm just going to go and do a quick slope brow. So next up we've got, I think I'm going to go in with the highlighters. So there's two different highlighters. We've got silver rose and we have gold. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is what the actual highlighters look like. So this is gold and this is silver rose. I think I'm going to go in with the gold one because 
it's got a very nice gold tint to it and I feel like I'm looking slightly more on the tanned side so I'm gonna dip into the gold one if it doesn't work then I'll go in with silver rose so I'm just gonna use a highlighter brush like this I'm gonna dip into this I don't really think this suits my skin tone. Okay, no, I'm gonna go in with Silver Rose instead. I feel like this is slightly too gold for me. So I'm just gonna go into the Silver Rose one instead. Tap into it. I'm not sure if this is like creamy or powdery. I don't know, it feels creamy, but then at the same time it kind of looks powdery. It's weird. One of those baked highlighters. So I'm just gonna apply some of this. Okay, it's actually very creamy, very beautiful highlighter. I love how it's got like the very like iridescent -y pink tint to it. Okay, this is a very nice highlighter. I'm also just going to take a very small brush and I'm going to put some of this in my inner corners. Whenever I do like these makeup reviews, I like to always do like a very natural look because I know that my audience is not people that can do cut creases and freaking um, halo eyes and all these fancy makeup looks so I like to try and use products so that you can see how you would be able to use them and just how the everyday person would use them so this is a very nice highlighter I'm not sure if you guys can see it's got a very nice glow to it but it's not like too much so if I look at myself in the mirror I don't have like this shadow like it's only there if I look into the light so it's very nice in a sense that it's not overpowering and it's not cakey it kind of just sits on the skin and then only when you're in the light it starts glowing like I'm not sure if you can see that like if I'm straight on looking at you you can obviously see the nose and the chin and the cupid's bow highlight but then you can't see this and then when I go bam then you can see it and bam then you can see it so it's actually really nice I really like that highlighter I'm definitely gonna use this more very pretty very pretty Catrice and then we are going to go in with the last three things we've got a lip balm I'm just gonna put some of that on now I mean there's not really much to it I just want to quickly take some of this BB cream off my lips anyone else just sit with a toilet roll on their makeup desk like what else okay so it's not like a very fancy lip balm it's just a typical I don't know it's such a it's such a familiar lip balm smell and taste it's just shea butter cocoa butter and macadamia oil so it's 98% natural ingredients and it's vegan it's a, just a clear lip balm I know they do have a lip oil as well but I couldn't get my hands on the lip oil I looked everywhere for it but I couldn't find it so unfortunately we just had to settle with the lip balm and this is now the Catrice Clean ID eye pencil with 99% natural ingredients it's vegan and it kind of looks like an actual like wooden pencil and it actually is made out of 100% wood that is crazy I want to quickly just swatch this on my hand Okay, so it comes across just as a normal pencil nothing fancy I think I'm just gonna put this along my lash line I don't want to do too much because I'm already interested in like a wing or anything I just want to do something natural and achievable for the everyday person I would like to try and attempt a wing but I don't think that this would be ideal for a wing yeah I can tell this is not gonna work for a wing I hate putting eyeliner on if it's not liquid liner. Oh my gosh. Mm, my eyes get so dry. Okay, I'm not going to do anything more than that. Like, it's nice. I just don't feel like it's as creamy as like a normal eye pencil would be. But it's not bad. It's not a bad eye pencil at all. Like, I'm not sure if you can see. It gave me a pretty precise line from minimal effort. So I'm sure if you sharpen it often, it will be a pretty decent pencil. But obviously from personal experience, I've obviously used pencils that are a lot creamier than this one. So for example, my favorite eye pencil that I use on all of my makeup clients, and it's my favorite one to use because it's so easy to use, is the Urban Decay 20. 24 7 glide on eyeliner in black market honestly it's the most incredible eyeliner you'll ever use it literally glides on like you cannot believe it's so good honestly it's such a good one i highly recommend it if you are a makeup artist and you are looking for a good eye pencil it's even better than the mac black eyeliner pencil i have to be honest it's way better okay so i just did a light thingy of eyeliner i'm not really an eyeliner fan if it doesn't have a wing i don't really want it 
So now we're just gonna go in with the Catrice Clean ID Volume and Lengthening Mascara, 92% natural ingredients, and it's vegan. Free from microplastic particles, added fragrances, silicone, and oil. So the last time I tried this, I did notice, however, like I really want to say like only say positive things about this, but I found that it kind of crumbled on my lower lashes and it like fell on like my eyes over here. So maybe it was just I don't know, maybe my lashes weren't feeling it that day, so I'm hoping that it's going to be better this time. But at the same time, you never really know. So I'm just going to put a light layer of this on. I really do like the mascara one. Sorry, this is what it looks like. My battery's going to die. Be right back. <laughs> Let's do a really quick ASMR. <laughs> okay, so I just finished changing my battery and I'm just going to quickly keep applying mascara. Um, I just feel like this mascara, it's its really nice. I'm not going to lie. It does a decent amount for your lashes. But I will show you, it will start crumbling on my lower, like my cheek area here. And for me personally, I like a mascara that will last long and stay on my eyes for quite a while. Like, I don't want to have to worry about it crumbling. So there's a before and there's an after. So you guys can see how much it does for the lashes. It really does a good job. Okay, guys. So this is the completed look. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of lipstick or something because my lipstick's so, like, boring right now. This MAC Fever Glam. What is it? Number two. Beaver Glam 2. So it's like a nude like this. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. I'm sorry, I can't deal without like having a proper lipstick on my lips right now. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm gonna quickly give my final thoughts on every single product. So so far, um, the bronzer is definitely one of my favorite products within this range. Like it's really such a good bronzer. And honestly, can't even complain about it. It's got such a beautiful color. It actually reminds me a lot of my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. So I really like the bronzer. I'll be using this a lot. And I do really like the highlighter as well. It's got such a beautiful finish on the face. And it's not like too... Um, it doesn't leave a cast on your face like at all. So it's nice because it reminds me a lot of the MAC Soft and Gentle. In that sense where you can't see it on your face from like straight on but as soon as you turn to the side it gives you such a beautiful natural glow so i highly recommend the highlighter as well you can obviously choose between the gold one and silver rose depending on which skin tone you are and then with the rest of us what is the rest of it the bb cream okay bb cream i think you guys know you guys know what i think about this it's not my favorite i probably won't reach for it ever again um i don't know like if you do prefer this kind of vibe that's going on in my face right now where it's literally no coverage and just color then i highly recommend it but i personally just feel like you could literally take any foundation that you do already have and mix it with a moisturizer and create your own bb cream so that's why i personally just don't recommend bb creams because you can make your own at home so easily so yeah, personally, won't really recommend it because it just separates and stuff. So rather just make your own thing at home if it's going to separate. And then with the lip balm, I mean, it's just a normal lip balm. So if you like having an abundance of lip balms in your house, which I do, I would have probably bought this off the shelf. So <laughs> I would recommend the lip balm as well because it's just a nice hydrating basic lip balm that you can just chuck in your handbag and you can have with you on the go all the time. Then with the Clean ID eye pencil, um, I don't know like if you are an eye pencil kind of person and you do enjoy like just a little bit of black eyeliner and you want to go completely vegan and natural then i do recommend this it's a very good product um i just do feel like it doesn't glide on very easily but i mean if you're not really hacked with like pulling your eye bits and stuff then go ahead very nice it's not super hard and doesn't glide like it's just not as soft as other eye pencils that i've personally used because obviously i've used a lot so i know what is good and what is like not the greatest but not bad so this is nice if you are looking to go completely 
completely natural when it comes to your makeup well yeah 99% natural so it is very nice when you put into perspective of how natural it is so I would recommend these products in terms of like if they are if you're wanting to go completely natural then these are amazing but if you're comparing it to stuff that isn't completely natural then it isn't amazing if you know what I'm trying to say I don't know if I'm getting my point across without sounding like the products are like terrible because they're not terrible because they are like literally natural I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but anyways, this eye pencil is not bad at all. It's got like 99% natural ingredients. So that's honestly incredible. And the mascara, so far, it's not crumbling. So I'm not sure if maybe it was just my lashes that day. But I will check in at the end of this video and show you guys my face at the end of it. Because then you can kind of get a better understanding of <laughs> the products. But this mascara is really pretty. If you look at my lashes, like it does enough for my lashes. I just feel like there are mascaras that do more for my lashes. But obviously having long lashes like I do, you kind of know what's a good mascara and what's not a good mascara. So I'm going to check in with you guys a little bit later and we can see what it looks like. But other than that, these products are really incredible for how natural they are. And honestly, that's amazing from Catrice to have even bought out this range because there are people that refuse to wear makeup because of some of the ingredients inside the makeup. So it's really awesome that they thought about vegans and the whole concept behind the clean beauty. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll check you guys a little bit later and then I'll say bye to you guys officially. So guys, um, I just put on lashes, but I just wanna quickly show you anyways. Um, in terms of that mascara, look what it does all the way along your lashes. If you just, okay, let me just take these lashes off. But if you just touch these lashes or over time, as you can see, it just flakes all over your lower lashes lashes completely like it doesn't even um it doesn't hesitate to just flake everywhere and it's the exact same on this side as you can see it's literally just flaking everywhere and the more like you kind of touch them or just normal like wind or anything happens the more they flake so that's the only reason I just really don't really like this mascara like I know so many people were raging about it and going off about it so I just personally can't really understand the hype around this mascara in terms of um, just the way it flakes everywhere like I can't believe it's been flaking this bad like you can see that I hate when my mascara flakes that's why I usually opt for something smudge proof or waterproof or just along the lines of that so that's the only reason I really wouldn't recommend it but I don't know, give it a try on yourself, maybe it doesn't do it with you, but for me it just flakes everywhere. So, <laughs> anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys. Bye!